Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out the Atom Smasher figure from the Black Adam movie. Um, but before we get into all the good stuff, I just wanted to shout out uh, that I do have a Twitter now for the uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I'm considering uh, also starting an Instagram, but right now it's just the Twitter. Um, and I think in this video I'm going to start... Uh, doing like uh, shout outs or respond to comments left on the Twitter or on the YouTube channel. So this first comment actually is from Timbo Slice on Twitter that says, I don't know what was better, your review or your buttery voice, LMAO. Uh, so soothing. That <laughs> That is like the nicest comment anybody has ever left about my voice. Uh, I definitely didn't see that coming, but a lot of love to you, Timbo Slice. And he left that when on the post uh, for the Renew Your Vows 2-pack. So, yeah. If you don't mind, uh, also following here, uh, also follow on the Twitter and leave a comment and I'll shout you out on the channel. Alright, now that we've got that out of the way, let's check out the Atom Smasher. Alrighty, before we get into the figure, uh, we get the card that comes with all uh, McFarland Toys figures, the little trading card, Adam Smasher, Black Adam, the little read-up on the back, yeah, nice touch, a little plastic. Alright, now that the only accessory is out of the way, let's look at the giant himself. And man, guys, this guy's looking sweet and really big. <laughs> All right, we get a lot of like fine detail throughout this whole figure with all of like the, the bumps in the material that his suit is made out of. I like the, it almost looks like a weightlifting belt, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right, let's get into the articulation. Man, this guy is really big. You're seeing a little bit of, like, the outline of my setup here, trying to keep him within the station. All right, looking at his head sculpt, you kind of get, like, the little Deadpool-esque mask. And he can look up not very much, down more so, which is what I would want from a giant figure. Uh, does he shift forward and back? Not really. We get some head tilting. And moving on to the arms, full 360. He can T-pose that much. A little bit higher than 90. Then we get a bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows, so he can make himself look like he's sleeping on a bed or something. Prop himself up. Weird pose, but okay. No, uh, you would expect there to be a little cut here for some wrist movement or some forearm movement, but there's not. It's only at the wrist right here. And both hands hinge up and down like this. Both hands, there is an interchangeable hands, which this figure needs some different hands, especially fisted hands. You get the nice Adam logo right there. And for his legs, he can kick out that much. Back more so. We get double jointed knees. He can't quite kick up himself in the butt. No uh, hip uh, rotation, which he needed. A little cut right there. I've seen people do uh, modifications on the... Uh, What's it? The Geralt figure from uh, McFarlane also, where they heated this up, cut through it, and they made a little uh, little hip cut right there, which is nice. But I I don't do too many mods to my figures. I do like like to keep them the way they came. Uh, you would expect a boot cut also. Doesn't have that. His ankles move up and down like that. He does have ankle pivot, the McFarland style ankle pivot. His toes move up like that also. And that's going to do it for his articulation. Large lad over here. 
Okay, and now that we've checked him out, let's... Oh, will you stand for me, sir? Perfect. All right, now that we've checked him out, let's get some measurements and some comparisons. And for the measurement on Adam Smasher, I'm going to give him above the nine and a half inch mark, so nine and three quarter inch mark. And for another comparison, we have him next to The Rock, the Black Adam himself. Coming about a little under chest height, right under Adam Smasher's man boobs right there. I would have preferred him a little bigger, but... Eh. And here we have him next to the Marvel Legends uh, Giant Man figure from Civil War. Uh, standing almost exact, well, probably at the same height. You could probably, if you wanted to, you could probably mod the Adam Smasher figure to kind of make him look like a, uh, like a classic Giant Man, like from Toy Biz way back when. And uh, that's going to do it for me, guys, on this uh, review. Um, if you feel like it, uh, follow the channel on Twitter. I'll be doing some updates there. Maybe even doing some a few polls. And I do. I will shout out uh, people if they leave a comment. Just like on YouTube. Probably tomorrow I'll uh, pick one from YouTube. And yeah, that's it for me. Uh, if you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like and a comment. They make my day. Thank you. Have a good night.